What's up guys, my name's Tanner and I'm a video game music artist here on YouTube. I recently started building my own home music studio, but the thing is, I'm still in college and I'm not currently earning any big bucks to get all of this elaborate gear. So if you're in a similar situation that I'm in and you're looking at starting your own home music studio on a tight budget, then be my guest, because I'm gonna show you that even though I've got a pretty small music studio compared to others, I'm still able to create some great music with the things that I have. So let's get started. So I'm gonna break my gear into two different categories, things that I bought myself and things that were gifted to me by friends and family. And yes, that is a thing. On occasion, you can ask for certain gear for like your birthday or Christmas. That's totally fine, as long as it's not too unreasonable. So here's what I've got. The most recent thing that I bought for my studio is this 88 key keyboard. It's an Arturia Key Lab Essentials 88. Now this isn't a keyboard that has built-in speakers and sounds. Uh, you need to connect it to a computer in order for it to, to work. And those of you pianists out there might want to save up for an 88 key keyboard just because it feels more natural to you, but you don't need a full 88 key keyboard to make great music. In fact, the keyboard that I started on is this little guy right over here. This is an Akai MPK Mini that I got for like 80 bucks off of Facebook Marketplace. It only has 25 keys on it and these eight drum pads, which I actually think are a lot better than these drum pads over here. They've got a really nice responsive touch to it and the keyboard itself works great. I've used it for a lot of projects and it gets the job done. Another thing that I bought recently is this computer that's hiding under this overly colorful mouse pad. Uh, this is the Mac mini, the 2020 model. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. It has, I believe an eight core processor with the Apple M1 chip has eight gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of memory. This is also one of the cheaper models of Apple computers out there. But when it comes to music production, it does a great job at processing information really fast. I also got this 27 inch monitor to go with it. I bought it locally from someone who had it on sale for about 75 bucks, great deal. But even before I had this computer, all I had was this laptop right over here, a MacBook Air that my parents got for me right when I started college. But ultimately the processing on this computer was not cutting it for me. And so I had to upgrade it to this one over here. Another thing that I bought recently is this electronic drum set, the Alesis Surge. Now I love these electronic drums and for any drummers out there who are thinking about saving up for their own drum set, but have a bit of a tight budget like I do, I would suggest looking into getting some electronic drums like these. Now, I know that electronic drums do not feel the same as acoustic drums, and you can't necessarily get the same sound out of electric drums, but there are a lot of pros with electronic drums like these. You can find a lot of models like this for a lot cheaper than acoustic drum sets. They're very quiet when you practice so that you don't annoy roommates or family members, and you can connect them right to your computer to record virtual drums. So that means you don't need a whole set of microphones to mic up a whole kit if you wanna record drums. Just get some electronic ones and hook them up to your computer. As simple as that. And the last thing that I bought recently was this electric bass. I got it from a friend. He was selling it for cheap. And honestly, I don't even know what brand this is. He said it was custom made, but I wanted to add it to, to my collection, so I got it from him. Now on to the gifts that I got from very generous family members and friends. The same friend that I got this bass from was the same person who gifted me these headphones. These are the Audio-Technica M50X headphones. The sound quality with these headphones is amazing. But even then, if you're someone that's looking into mixing and mastering, you don't necessarily need super expensive headphones to get the job done. As long as they have good audio quality, use whatever you have. For one of my birthdays, my parents gave me this audio interface and condenser microphone right here. And this is probably the most basic audio interface that's on the market. It has one XLR input and one quarter inch input. 
And frankly, that's all I need to, to make my music. I've had this for about three years now and it works great. And over here are a couple more guitars that my parents gave to me way back when. This acoustic guitar I got when I was 15 and this electric guitar I got when I was 13, which is really long ago and I need to upgrade it. That's probably next on my list. So there you have it. Those are all the things that I've been able to collect over time to build my current music studio. But if you're still wondering, okay, what is the bare minimum that I need to really get my music studio started? Let me let you in on a little secret. So if you go to my main channel, Megadude XD, you'll see that one of the first video game covers that I uploaded has now over 200,000 views. Guess what I used to make that music video? I used this laptop, GarageBand, that came with this laptop for free and my own creativity. That's it. Like, I didn't even have my small MIDI keyboard to record melodies with. I used my computer keyboard in GarageBand to record melodies. It was jank as heck and it took a long time to edit all the notes to make sure that they were correct. But it got the job done. And I uploaded the video and people are still commenting on that video, hey, this is a great remix, and I just used my computer to make it. So hopefully that puts it into perspective. You don't need all this elaborate gear to get your music studio started. In my opinion, all you need is a good working computer, uh, music creation software like GarageBand that you can get for free, your main instrument of choice, maybe a USB mic if you're a singer, and that's about it. What really matters is that you have the creativity and the drive to start making music now no matter what you're starting with. I hope you got something valuable out of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more content and also check out my main channel, Megadude XD, if you're a huge video game music nerd fan like me. Thanks again, guys, and I'll catch you next time.